so hi everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about scalability and performance so why are we using this term side by side what is the purpose of it so these two terms are relatable to each other so let's talk about them today so yeah hi everyone my name is paras padidar i'm a software engineer so yeah first of all let's let's give credits to the uh, people who have written these blogs so yeah i have gone through these blogs and got some idea and more about scalability and performance so here i have like uh, took them and give them in a short way so first we will see a short and sweet definition then we'll go in a thorough technical definition so what is performance basically so performance you heard about uh, just just to take an example first we just open instagram okay we open instagram and we just open instagram and the things gets loaded very fast means it it, it is giving response in a very low time so very low response time so we get the images we get the post we get the stories and other things are very less time so the performance of instagram is very good okay so this is performance and what is scalability now imagine you have 1000 users use 1000 users using instagram parallelly and then also you are getting this the content the post the story in the same speed in the same way right that is scalability it means basically it doesn't depend on how much users instagram has instagram has to give the same performance to every user so this is the major difference between scalability and performance so performance one user same performance if there are thousand users also they also the same performance so you can say like how fast your system works is the performance right so how fast instagram works is the performance and scalability is ability to handle large amount of work basically means parallelly handling lot of users under the heavy load giving the same performance scalability these two things are used side by side that's why as you can see the graph here right we have the low scale uh, when when we have very low users the performance like is very good right but the users increases no the perform- performance here gets decreases so we need to manage this both so yeah this is the short and sweet part of it now let's talk more about scalability in the depth so what is scalability basically now in technical if you can see no a service is said to be scalable if when we increase the resources in a system it results in increased performance in a manner proportional resources added basically we want to say is when we add the resources in the system now our service should give more performance users so basically when we add more servers our more servers can handle more users giving the same performance right that is scalability we are handling large users with the same performance and there are two types of scaling horizontal and vertical scaling so basically horizontal scaling is adding more servers like uh, if you have a gb ram server then you will if you have want more scalability then you can add one more gb ram server in vertical scaling basically you are extending it 8 gb to 16 gb for the same server right so you are scaling that server or you are replacing that 8 gb with 16 gb means you are vertically scaling not you are you are not adding more machines to it so that is vertical so to to g- give you more idea on this now i'll add a one more video on scalability from my channel so you can check in the description or in the i i icon so let's talk about performance so performance basically increasing performance in general means that it more units of work but it can also be handled large units of work such as when data grows basically if you want to see is right when instagram database grows it should not decrease the performance right so the performance should not be dependent on the size of database or sort of that it should give the same response in the same amount of time whether the database has millions of records database hundred records doesn't matter so that's the main find out it and so so how how we can measure performance so we have some different matrices we can go through. so first of all is latency it is basically time to perform some action to produce some result right when we perform some action like uh, just when we go to story in how much time we get the resp- the stories response like when we send an image or render a video in the story this is latent cpu utilization basically time the cpu needs to process request when we when we, when we hit on story right how much time the instagram takes to utilize uh, in in their systems in cpu right so that is cpu utilization memory utilization basically memory needs to process that request basically when we hit uh, when we click on instagram stories how much memory it is using in their servers that is memory utilization and peak response time basically you can imagine right there's a, a video on the story which will take more time than this image in the story so this peak response time which is being there in our for the seeing the stories average load time basically how much time average it takes to load a story of a photo or a video right 
and the request per second basically how much time we we take right basically to process that request and how much time basically we can handle like and how many requests we can handle in a second so if, if like in, in a second right there are millions of requests coming to instagram so can instagram can handle it so that's a request per second what is the capacity of a system to handle the request so yeah these are the some of the things which you can go to on while working on performance and scale scalability and all the things so yeah that's all guys from my side so hope you got the idea of scalability and performance so yeah if you got if you love this uh, thing which i'm trying to explain you guys please like and subscribe my channel i will be adding more videos to the subscription section yeah so thank you so much